These tires are great though. Really love these tires. Just get one of these blades at a dollar store. Very nice. Right up there, you can see these wear marks right there. See the rust showing right there on that spring? Well, what, what I think's happening, and it doesn't look this way on the other side, is all the paint's chipped off here too, on the top of this one, the bottom of this one, top of this one, bottom of that one, top, bottom. So I think what's happening is this particular shock or strut is just compressing way too much, and it's bottoming out. It's really too bad because those things are brand new. Those are KYB struts and they're about uh, they're about a year old, really. Maybe just over a year old. It could be that my, my van build is just a bit too much and uh, what I might need to do is get a, a spring company to make a bigger spring that's stiffer. I don't know, this isn't my area of expertise, but I think a bigger spring might be the way to go. These tires are great though, really love these tires. These are those Cooper Discovery AT3s. They performed really well all winter long. Um, a lot of road confidence with these and this particular vehicle it was just a really good choice here. I'm gonna leave the front end totally alone right now. And I'm um, just gonna focus on getting the parts I need to do the back stuff, which is gonna be all the braking system back there. And um, for the front, I'm just gonna I'm going to leave it for a little while and then once I bring this into John's shop and we do the rear brakes over there, we can have a closer look at everything up in the front here. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, just to see if there's any other thing going on, but I'm thinking I might have to get those springs sorted out up in the front. Okay, more van stuff. This time I'm going to fix my mattress up. So what's happening is they, they're compressing out a lot right in the middle here and the edges are better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the middle part and put a brand new piece of foam in there. That's it. Maybe I should wash my bed in today actually. Oh. 
seen better days. I've been trying different things with this system for a long time and I haven't found something that's ideal. Um, Velcroing the cushion down has definitely helped, but uh, it's still not perfect. And I can't Velcro the ones down in the back because they all need to glide and move as the bed, you know, gets folded into a bed and into a couch. It's just how it works. Anyway, we will... Gross, man. That, that's a real mess, that stuff. <laughs> I'm getting glue all over myself from that duct tape, I think. I'm waiting on Nick to do something for his van, so I'm kind of trying to do a bunch of stuff for myself and be productive in the meantime. And there's a bunch of van work, obviously, that I'm doing, so I'm going to work on that right now. Essentially what, what this is, is it's a queen size mattress that I bought from a department store up in Canada here called Ikea. And uh, these were originally like on the end of this. So it was originally that wide and then 80 inches this way. So I just ended up cutting off the edges and I saved them because I knew at some point in time this was going to pack out, especially in the middle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it off right here, discard this piece in the middle right here flip that around and flip that one around because the best part of the foam is right here and then glue it with this thing in the middle so it'll be three pieces essentially glued together um, and then I'm gonna pack it back up in those uh, mattress covers and that'll be it I'm just cutting it up with an electric turkey knife, so that's it. This one is just a super cheap one. Bought it for like, I don't know, I think it was $20 back in the day. I don't know what they're worth now, but um, it's pretty good. And another way to do this is if you were to even just go to a dollar store or something like that, where you just buy a, a bread blade like that with a handle on it, what you do is you, uh, you trace a jigsaw end bit onto this part and you cut it off and you grind this down so that that piece fits into the, the jigsaw itself and then you can use this in your jigsaw so you don't have to spend even twenty dollars you can just go buy a cheap bread knife at the dollar store and that's probably something i'm going to do anyway because that means i could slim this whole package that i got down to just one of these and uh, that's appealing to me just because i can carry on using the jigsaw so if you're gonna do this kind of thing just get one of these blades at a dollar store. It doesn't have to be from a turkey knife, but just a bread blade with that serrated edge and trim that down. I'll try to do a video of something like that. That's all I'm gonna use. Um, works well on foam. I've done this stuff before, so. I'll just wait till it gets a bit more tacky and then I'll put them together. Sun one minute, rain the next minute. It's just, just the way it is.
that's going to be a lot more comfortable at nighttime. Um, this cushion I'm sitting on right now, I'm going to try to replace the foam so that I got something a little bit like stiffer to sit on. Because when I'm editing a video, I just park my butt on this one and I find that it compresses out really quickly and then I feel like I'm just sitting on plywood and that's no good. But um, anyway, yeah, it's raining again. So I'm going to fold this back up. I'm going to make some lunch and uh, yeah, that's it. There it is, rock auto. <laughs> My car parts, you guys. Here's my new rear rotors, you guys. So those look pretty good. These are uh, dynamic friction. So there's the brake pads, and there's the parking brake shoes, the parking brake hardware, and I got left and right rotors. And this box here, this is the this is the money box. To buy these two parts here in Canada would have cost me. $1,300. So let's have a look. And it, the exact same brand and everything. And I got them for $400 for the pair, which is awesome. Very nice. Brilliant. Huh. So that is the rear brake dust shield and it's got the caliper mount built right into it right here so um essentially like all this area here where the hardware is attached for the parking brake systems all mangled up on mine so i bought brand new ones because uh i didn't want to be screwing around with it and it's going to be a real chore getting all this off of my van and replacing it all at least uh that's what i'm anticipating so the next step here is going to go up to John's place. I'm going to book an appointment with him, let him know that I got all the parts. Um, and uh, we'll go up there and take care of business. This is great. This is really good. These things arrive really fast. That took like two days. They got here in two days. Wow. Man, it's green outside, you guys. All this stuff is just popping right now. I'm a bit behind foraging on some of these things. I'm just totally caught up on Nick's van. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll pop out here in, in a moment and I'll do some plant videos. <laughs> 